I got called out today to look at a job, and this person was not a Trump supporter. And how I found out real quick, like, is because I hand them a business card, and on my card it says, Make an Asphalt Great Again. And they said, well, Make an Asphalt Great Again? Does that happen to be influenced by uh, Donald Trump, MAGA? I said, of course it is, thinking it was going to increase my chances of getting a job. Well, little did I know, this person was not from around here. They was from another state. They just bought the property, wanted to fix it up so they could flip it because, you know, property's through the roof right now, especially in Texas, because you got people moving down here from all these fucking social communist ass states. And I assume they was from one of them states or either Austin or Dallas or some one of these cities that are kind of liberal-like because as soon as I said, of course I did, boy, they went left on me. And it dawned on me right then and there. I'm like, you know what? That's where that phrase comes from. You know, they went left on me. I said, well, I'm not hiring somebody that supports a damn felon. I can't stand that orange SOB. I said, well, what is it that you don't like about it? January the 6th, for starters. Well, what about January 6th? That was all incited by the Antifa and FBI. Huh. <laughs> My ass. Who's in jail for it? I said, well, you got me there because I don't know their names. Well, I can tell you this, it's not Antifa and damn sure ain't the FBI. I said, well, of course they're not, because FBI would have been released up on arrival as soon as they was identified. And Antifa would have been bonded out by fucking Kamala Harris. And I, oh my God, all you Trumpers are conspiracy theorists. Well then, here, tell me this, what would happen to their arrest records? <laughs> Hell, Kamala would have got rid of them just like she did Joe Biden.